to my smoothie, three point smoothie here, and my Olay wrap with one third cup of egg white, two Lander Frost Canadian bacon, and just like a tablespoon of fat free cheese. We are back and um, that was a great lunch. Uh, those burritos are always so good. And um, I like splitting them with my husband. It's just, it's more fun that way, I guess. But um, I ended up with eight points for the rest of the day. Eight points left, which is fine. That's fine because I'm, they're really filling and you don't, don't really want too much more later on. Um, but uh, anyway, you know, the breakfast burrito, we get a bean, bean and cheese and a breakfast burrito and we split them in half and then we share them. And I have to say that that breakfast burrito, it's made with potato and egg. Um, and I think it, it's got a little bit of bacon in it, uh, not a whole lot. Um, but when I was a little girl, my parents used to get us up early on a Saturday once in a while and they'd take us to a park. We lived up in the Bay Area in San Jose in California and um, then who would be meeting us at the park but my grandmother. My grandmother had a camper and it was totally rigged out with a stove and all that stuff in there and we'd see grandma's camper at the park. And then um, she had this screen door. The door would be open on the camper and then the screen door would be closed. And it had like one of those little windows that open and closed. And we'd be like, yay, we get to go out and play for a while. And mom and dad would visit with her. And um, after we said hello, then we'd go and play. And then one by one, they would call us back and uh, say, okay, it's your turn. You need to go over to the camper and grandma and mom were in there busy making breakfast burritos <laughs> and so uh one by one or two by two they'd send us there i come from a big family they'd send the kids to the camper and that little door would open the little window would open and then grandma's hand would come out of that window and she'd hand us a breakfast burrito wrapped in a little paper towel and we'd stand there and we weren't allowed to go back and play until we were done eating that burrito <laughs> but it was early in the morning it was beautiful the birds were singing and there were all these wonderful smells coming out of the camper and then that big hand you know <laughs> giving us that burrito and we'd stand there and then we'd eat it and then we'd go off and play again and for some reason that burrito tastes exactly the way that she made it and it really brings back all these memories it's like that moment in the the film ratatouille where you know the uh, rat rat uh, in ratatouille makes that dish for um, the critic and then his mind goes right back to his childhood that's what happens to me when i eat that burrito and i guess that's probably why we we still go there um, anyway, just thought I'd share that with yes, you. Lately, I've been really stuck on these things here. Um, I get them at Walmart, um, and this one is iced lemon sugar cookies. I'm actually burning this, and it smells so good. I thought about this, and I thought, do I want to eat this, or do I want to smell it? I guess I'll settle for the smelling. I'd really like to eat it. I'd also like to eat brown pecan pie, brownie pecan pie, lemon pancake, what else? <laughs> Butterscotch maple cream. And this one is probably the safest one. No place like home. I think maybe I should just stick with burning this one for a while. And maybe forego these. So maybe <laughs> when I'm feeling stronger. Good morning. We are at here at Burger King because I need to take the kids somewhere cool inside to play. Um, and it's too hot to go to the park. Plain and simple. I have an apple in a bag in my bag, and uh, so I'm going to eat my apple. I'm not going to do the French fries today. I'm saying I'm not going to do fries, um, and I mean it. And um, later, today's my birthday, I'm 51, and we're going to um, dinner somewhere later tonight that I know is gonna be like huge on points, and it's an Italian place. And um, I was thinking about my 
the cake situation um, and my eldest our eldest is going to be he was gonna make the cake and then he was gonna like bring a cake he's so sweet and we talked this morning and came up with a good idea that um, if he, he's gonna buy cupcakes and that way I get a serving of a cake but I don't have like a cake that's in the freezer that I constantly have to keep going back to because I will I will eat whatever cake is left I will I love cake it's like my downfall so I never have it in the house um, so he said he's gonna get cupcakes now at the Italian place they do have an Italian wedding cake that is phenomenal so it comes in a big piece so I might actually get that and split it with my family uh, but I'll show you if that happens but I think if we do cupcakes for this birthday and we do cupcakes for Shane's birthday next weekend that'll cut down on the cake anxiety that I had for this month um, but then the following week I will probably make a cake for my son but then I will send it home with him so he and his roommates can enjoy the rest of the leftovers and then that takes care of the cake situation for the month um, so problem solved Look what my honey did. You're so sweet. Thank you, honey. <laughs> you decorated. I tried. <laughs> You're very sweet. You did a great job. The kids made me some really cute cards. Monster tracks. <laughs> you know how I love that. <laughs> That's so adorable. <laughs> Don't forget the trash truck. Oh, yeah, the trash truck. I love that. Shane loves trash trucks. He made me a... <laughs> It's so cute. cup of this cooked pre-cooked uh, barley and I'm having about a half a cup of blueberries and half of this Greek um, yogurt the light and fit one and a half of a grapefruit so I'm having like half 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 this morning all right I am making a three-point wrap to take up on a hiking trip Everybody, it is the 4th of July and I want to say happy 4th of July out there to all the um, my American watchers um, and happy Canadian day to my Canadian watchers which I know is probably not today but it's around the same time so I wanted to wish you all well as, as well. Um, we are heading up to Mount Charleston nearby Las Vegas and we are going to have a picnic. Our church has a picnic every year on this day and we're just going to go up for a couple of hours and um, see the beautiful scenery and get out of the heat because it's like a hundred and what eight or whatever in town and up there it's like in the 70s so we brought a sweater. Uh, I brought a sweater because I know it's going to be cool. Um, my husband's too cool to bring a sweater. He thought it was ridiculous but <laughs> I brought a blanket just in case he gets cold. <laughs> Changes his mind. Um, anyway, last night we had a wonderful birthday. My family was very sweet to me and um, just really did a lot of nice things for me yesterday and I thought it was really nice. Had a lot of friends out there that said happy birthday and um, you know, gave me a lot of Facebook birthday wishes and I'm so grateful for that as well. Uh, we went to the Italian place last night and oh boy it was it was really good we, we really don't go there very often at all I think maybe last time we did it was a year ago we took um, our niece and nephew there 
um, and before that it had probably been years, but they're known for serving really big portions. So we, we ordered some half-size portions of food and then we shared them. And I think we ended up, I forgot to actually show the dinner, but we ordered a small plate of stuffed like manicotti shells and um, then also... They were so good. They really were good, yeah. And then um, there was, I think it was a sausage and cheese type mixture or something. And, yeah, and sausage. Yeah, and then it had like a green sauce or something came with it. And then there was a Parmesan chicken breast or something like that, and that was really good. And then there was spaghetti and meatballs. Wasn't it prosciutto? Oh, prosciutto. Stuff? Prosciutto was in the chicken, yeah. yeah. And so uh, what I did was I just got like... Um, like a little half of my palm size portion of each one well the shell was probably a half anyway so I had one shell then I had a half of a palm size of the chicken breast and then um, like a palm size of the spaghetti with just a little bit of a meatball because it only comes with comes with like two gigantic meatballs so you have to take pieces of it um, so we shared Everything is served family style, and which is why we went. You know the atmosphere, um, but you know it was really heavy, and I don't know how much fat they put in that kind of stuff, and what they really cook it with. I think I'm gonna look it up and try to figure out some points online. But um, that, and then the sweets afterward, I was like totally wiped out by the end of the night. I mean, I just like I just wanted to go to sleep. And I felt so, I mean, I felt like I was drugged up or something. It was just, it was really a lot for my body to process. This morning I felt a little hungover, but I'm okay. And um, just, yeah, I haven't eaten that heavy, I think, in a long time. So um, it was really nice birthday. Um, but I'm kind of glad I don't eat like that all the time. I don't know how I would function, you know. And I used to eat that way all the time. I think I remember days where I felt that way a lot you know and I felt um, I ate until I was full but what happened after that was it felt like it just kept expanding maybe it was the pasta and um, I did have some of the bread I had a couple of pieces of the um, they have like French bread and I had a couple pieces of that or one and a half I think it was but I felt like everything just kept expanding afterward I got a balloon inside but, um, but it was interesting. It was really fun to be there with my family. And so we had a great time. But anyway, um, see you up in the mountains. See you in a little bit.